A new artificial intelligence video generator has been unveiled by Tsinghua University in China. Known as Vidu, it's been touted as a rival to OpenAI's Sora system. It's one of many new artificial intelligence tools emerging in China. Our correspondent Jen Copestake reports. Large-scale AI models are creating new ways of working. Powerful tools for data analysts can help companies create content with the aim of grabbing audience share. In China, public opinion platform GS Data is using AI to analyze nearly 90 days of online data to identify the most popular topics among its users and forecast future behavior patterns. It says it knows how users feel about content, with a sentiment index claiming a 70 to 80 percent success rate of predicting emotion. Behind this, we have a strong team of skilled AI algorithm engineers providing support. First and foremost, we require massive data sets that are meticulously labeled and processed. With accurate labels, our unique algorithms enable us to analyze this extensive data and derive the results we desire. Beijing's Tsinghua University recently unveiled Vidu, a video generation competitor to OpenAI's Sora system. Vidu utilizes our proprietary technology architecture. Sora does not disclose its technical roadmap. We have been developing core technologies such as deep artificial intelligence and diffusion models independently. Vidu creates 16 second long HD videos with a single click and can understand and generate content specifically aimed at Chinese users. For example, the dust billowing up we see as the car moves and the sunlight and shadow effects at different times of the day can be rendered quite realistically. Another feature is it can comprehend some of the language of multiple camera angle utilization and focusing and light tracking effects, even some illusory scenes you can envision. Such large language models help content creators save time in editing by understanding different formats and recommending music. And this technology can even replicate humans in creating digital anchors, mimicking individual characteristics like voice, lip movement and lifelike facial features. The generation of digital people is actually very simple, roughly divided into two steps. The first step is to clone your image. The second step is to clone your voice. We only need to collect some of your video footage. Users of digital human products can use text to generate new content, allowing digital characters to speak in multiple languages. These developments come with ethical challenges and regulatory issues. One example is reviving dead celebrities or swapping the faces of well-known people. Balancing innovation with necessary compliance will be critical as these new technologies expand rapidly. Jen Copestake, CGTN.